How does Ozempic affect the brain? Keep watching to find out. By now, I am sure you are aware of the weight loss drug Ozempic. Everyone from celebrities to suburban mums and models are taking this drug to lose weight. If you eat less calories than you expend, then you will lose weight. Ozempic helps people achieve this. It basically makes people eat less by stopping them from feeling hungry and making them feel fuller for longer periods of time. It does this by changing the hunger signals in your brain. Although Ozempic has some effects in the body, its role in the brain is less clear. Let me explain what we know. Ozempic mimics the activity of a hormone called glucagon-like peptide 1, or GLP-1 for short. GLP-1 is released into the blood by the intestines whenever we eat. GLP-1 ends up getting to the brain where it acts at receptors throughout the brain to suppress our appetite. When someone takes Ozempic, this is basically an artificial form of GLP-1, so it will do all the things in the body that GLP-1 does. Yet, instead of having short-lasting effects that only hang around for a little while after we have eaten, Ozempic stays around for long periods of time, causing the feelings of fullness to be longer-lasting. Very recently, a study was published in the journal Science showing that Ozempic reduces hedonic eating, or eating for pleasure, by stopping the activity of a reward circuit involving dopamine neurons in mice. This circuit is facilitated by tasty foods, which made the mice eat more and for longer, even though they didn't need the calories, physiologically speaking. Ozempic down-regulated this circuit. This work has shed some light on how the brain controls our eating behaviors and how Ozempic affects this, but more human studies on the long-term effects of Ozempic are needed.